There are lots of applications in economics for calculus, but before we get into those applications, we have to talk a little bit about some basic terms, cost, revenue, and profit. First, let's talk about cost. Suppose your business manufactures sneakers. Let X be the number of pairs that your company makes. A cost function tells you how much it costs to produce X pairs of sneakers. So here's the x-axis, the number of pairs of sneakers, and here's the cost axis. And your function might look something like this. If you produced zero sneakers, you would still have some cost because there are fixed costs associated with running a business, like rent for your factory or you know, salaries for your workers and so on. So this would be the fixed cost. And then the additional cost is, from, is, is called the variable cost. This is the cost of producing uh, a certain number of sneakers. So it's variable cost plus fixed cost. And this model, this linear model, assumes that the, the, um, the cost stays constant. You know, for example, the, the, the cost of materials does not go up the more you buy them or go down. Um, this is a, a more variable model that takes into account the effect of initially um, buying in bulk. Might decrease the cost of materials a little bit, so the cost curve will curve down a little bit. But then if you buy too much, you might create a, sh a shortage and the cost might skyrocket. Um, so a cost function can be more complicated. It doesn't need to be just linear. Now that's cost. Let's take a look at revenue. If you get P dollars for each pair of sneakers you sell and you sell X pairs, revenue is going to be the price of the sneakers times the number of pairs you sell. This will be the amount of money that you're bringing into your company. P times X, that's revenue. And the revenue function could look like this. R equals P X, P times X. If the price is constant, you'll just have this linear function for your revenue. But it is also possible that the price isn't constant. That, you know, if you sell, if you have too many pairs of sneakers out into the, in the market, the price is going to go down. The demand for them goes down. So you might have this kind of concave down piece at the end. Um, so you have a linear and a nonlinear revenue function. And profit is revenue minus costs, right? The money that you take into your company minus the money that you spend, that's profit. And if you look at your cost function, so this is your cost function and your revenue function, the point at which they cross is called the break-even point. It's at this point where you're producing just the right numbers of shoes where cost and revenue are exactly the same. Your profit will be zero, but it's at this point where you can start making a profit. If you produce more than X sub zero shoes, you'll make a profit. Your revenue will be above your cost. If you produce less, your revenue will be below. So this is a really important point in uh, economics, the break-even point. So we have cost, revenue, and profit. These are the important ideas that we're going to be talking about in the next few lessons.